get unready with me video. I sound like freaking Santa Claus. We love being girls, huh? She's like, hey, remember me? <laughs> Okay, you guys, what's up? I almost want to say good morning, but it's definitely not morning. It's like 10.30 at night, and I just got back from babysitting, and I decided to film this video of me getting unready, and I'm going to bring you guys along, so I'm in my bathroom, and I have to be very quiet because she's going to get so mad at me. But there's a human being sleeping in my bedroom, and I can't. Also, low-key, I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like... I have never in my billion years of living, just kidding, it's been like 15, almost 16, 15 and nine months. Where was I? Oh yeah, I've never been able to braid it. So the, the braids start right here. Like literally everyone's always had to do it for me. And then today I got it. I'm actually so proud. Anyways, we are going to start getting on ready. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my, pretty much my nighttime routine. It's my get on ready with me video because I know that those titles do really well so we're gonna follow the trends just kidding it's not really a trend right now anyways okay for starters we're gonna take these off because I sound like freaking Santa Claus and I can never sneak upstairs when I'm supposed to be in bed because these are so noisy all right so yeah if you notice my tongue's blue so we're gonna have a lot of brushing our teeth today brushing my teeth today and my hair looks like a freaking rat's nest. Low-key shower today. I want you guys to tell me if you guys ever shower one day and then the next day or even later that day your hair is greasy and it feels like you haven't showered for a week. That's me sometimes. If I switch shampoos and conditioners, actually no it's mostly just shampoos, my hair goes wackadoodle and hates me for, yeah, until I shower next. But then, if I switch back to my normal one, it's greasy again, so it takes me a little bit to get back on it. <laughs> but, yeah, we love being girls, huh? All right, guys, so I've got all my stuff out. I normally like to take everything out and get it all prepared for when I get unready i keep doing that i'm so annoying i'm so sorry so for starters i think i'm gonna take off my makeup first because yeah just keeping this makeup on any longer it's just kind of annoying so we're gonna take it all off and then my face feels so relaxed and it's honestly one of my favorite feelings ever comment if that's like your favorite feeling like to take off all your makeup and your mascara and then like to be able to rub your face and there's nothing on there and you're not worried about smudging anything it's fantastic and putting on a face mask. All of that's fantastic. All right, anyways, the first thing I start off my get unready with me is by taking off my makeup. So I'm gonna get a makeup wipe and I'm gonna start by doing that. Okay, I got my better wipes, which are Equate Beauty, just ones from Walmart. They're a lot more like, I don't know, juicier, I guess. I don't even know how to call them. And I just like to fold them all the way in, how they normally come out. And then I start on the inside. Oh, I love this feeling, guys, literally. Okay, um, tell me if this bugs you, but sometimes when I, I like put on, I, I don't know if it's like a lot of makeup to you guys, but I put on a decent amount of makeup. And then by the end of the day, some days it's like literally all gone. Some days there's a lot of it still on. And then some days it doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup and I spent 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and there's nothing and it doesn't look like it improved your face at all. <laughs> I love that. Anyways, now that I've done like kind of wiping it all off, I like to look to make sure there's like nothing left. And then I start with the mask. By the way, I'm not pulling out my mascara. I mean my eyelashes, I'm just like rubbing Literally, the under eye part is so hard to get off. Like, even if you don't wear under eye ma mascara, it still just loves to pop up under there. Just like, hey, remember me? Just thought I'd check in, make sure you love me. Okie dokie. We're done. 
See, I'm kind of proud. This white doesn't look too bad. There's some mascara points, a little bit of brown. Normally, my, ma my makeup wipe is shredded to pieces. Now we're gonna get on to step number two for my get on ready with me, or my facial routine, nighttime routine. All right guys, so step two is I like to wash my face. So we've got this Wish Cream Cleanser Smooth and Moisturizes. It's rice milk and rose. I really like this. It definitely makes my face have a fresher look afterwards. Then I've got this Ahava Hydration Cream Mask, which actually I'm literally in love with. Not in the weird way, because that would... That would definitely be messed up. But I've got my Purifying Detoxing Facial Bar, which I got from the Seaweed Bath & Co. And I like to use these three. Sometimes I use a scrub, but I recently found out that you're only supposed to use that once a week. So that's not gonna be tonight because I used that earlier today. So let's get started on our step number two for my facial routine, technically, and nighttime routine. All right, so first I get my face wet. Okay, and then I'm going to start off by using my purifying, my detox bar, I guess. I don't even know what to call it. Okay, then after, wow, after that, obviously, as you can tell, I've still got mascara on my face, apparently. So, thanks for that. We are going to use my makeup wipe. Kind of just rub it off. All right, now I'm going to be using my wish cleanser. Why do I keep calling it wish cleanser? My cream cleanser. Gotta get my face wet again. Okay, now, wow, oh, I am going a lot quicker than my words can come out. I put on this cleanser, as you can tell, look very attractive. And I do the same thing. I kind of like to rub really well in the areas where I know zits either come up or I have zits there. And then I just rub everywhere else as well. Whoa, where the heck did this scratch mark come from? Okay, and now, since I think I got it all, I mean, do I look like it? Yeah, probably. Wow, my face looks a lot like my eyes and my eyebrows look a lot darker when I have this on. Now I'm gonna wash it off. Yep, we're good. Now we're gonna actually dry my face. Okay, so now that I feel like, well, my face feels pretty freshened up, I still got some dark spots under my eye, as you can tell, which is super annoying. But I don't want to rub my face freaking raw. So we're not exactly going to touch that. And then tomorrow morning, I'll probably get some makeup cleanser. And I'll probably wash that off. But now I'm going to put away all my facial stuff. And then we're going to move on to step number three. Well, I guess that is step number three. I like to put away all my stuff. So let's get on to step number three. Okay, I just put away all of my stuff. Now I'm gonna step, move on to step number four, or combine step number three. And sometimes I put on both, but normally I either put on this Wonder Balm, which helps my space spots, because I've got really fun space, spot, space spots, face spots that we love. Or I put on this face mask, which is an all night mask, or it's a three to five minute mask, but I like to put it on overnight. So let's start that. <laughs> This, I'm getting a freaking leg workout. All right, so I'm just gonna start by, you guys can see that. I honestly get a very large amount. Yeah, it's pretty large. I kind of rub it in like it's lotion, but not too hard like lotion. I mean, because of the thickness of it, it doesn't rub in all the way like a mask, like, a, like lotion does, which I like, but yeah, I just like to let it sit on top of my face. Okay, so seriously guys, do you ever come home from an amazing day, or just a day, whatever you have, and then you like realize you have scratches on your face? Like I think I've got one over here. Yeah, I've literally got one like over here, this like little red spot, and this huge scratch. Oh my gosh, there's like a few scratch marks on my eye, under my eye. And I literally, I didn't do anything. 
so I don't even know where the heck they came from, but yeah, low key, just a bit like worried, you know. Okay, and me being the person that I am, I like to smooth it out and make sure it's kind of even and actually looks good. Not sure why the frick I do that, because I mean, it takes a lot longer amount of time, but you know, it's how some human beings are, so we don't judge. Okay, I have my face mask on. I am kinda, sometimes I kinda blow it because it kinda burns, but it's not too bad of a burn that I need to take it off, because this half, yeah, never mind. That sounds very dangerous, but it's fine. And now we are on to step unero numero. Maybe number four or five, step four or five, whichever one, which is brushing my teeth. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun experience. We love this. Let's go. I already have my toothbrush out, as well as my toothpaste, and because I've got braces, I use this little tiny pick. I can show you. I use this to get in between the braces because, well, you know, yeah, we just sometimes have to get in between those braces because we don't want plaque or circular dots of plastic or plaque around our teeth when we get them off. And I just like to get in between each bracket and I scrub it as if I'm brushing my teeth, so pretty hard, I guess. All right, we're done with that. Now we're going to brush my teeth, and I actually brush it with water first. I just like to scrub whatever, like, plaque or whatever could be on my mouth right now, and then we wash, brush with toothpaste. So don't worry, I don't just brush my teeth with water. That is disgusting. Okay, now that we have done that, we're gonna take my toothpaste and actually brush my teeth this time. All right, so after that, 50 billion years later, I am now done brushing my teeth, getting my face stuff on, and now my nose is actually feeling really dry. So, I'm gonna use this stuff. Cause you know, we hate dry noses. There we go. I'm lotioned up, I'm face washed up. Now it's time to go into the bedroom Maybe get changed, maybe not, and just get ready for bed. Um, okay, you guys, so, my cow's asleep behind me, and, I mean, I don't blame her, it's like 10, 30 at night, but I'm using our ring light, and it's literally on, like, the lowest setting, and it feels so bright. I mean, in the camera, it looks so bright. I think I'm ready for bed, so I normally sleep on this side, and sometimes I like to write in my journal, I like to write a little bit of things, who knows, I just like... I don't know, writing things and figuring things out, I guess, because the best time that I think and have thought process is at night, which can suck. So I'm like a nighttime and morning person. Anyways, so this is kind of step five or six, I guess I could call it step six, of me unwinding or winding down for the night, getting ready for bed, and then I just fall asleep in bed. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that, and then I'm going to go to bed.